So when you're evaluating some of this technology and you got the reality of physics and discovery today, so you got a balance of, um, you know, I've got to move forward to deliver something to the marketplace and I want to innovate and make sure I'm doing it in a, in a wise way. What are the technologies that you're thinking about? I mean, not all of them, but one or two or three that have your most attention right now. Yeah, they're going to be cooling and energy technologies. And, um, you know, cooling, I think, is pretty straightforward. What, what, what we see with cooling is it, it's uh, kind of, uh, you know, reciprocal. On the energy side, it, it's really different, right? So on the energy side, the old solutions um, definitely do not work. Uh, today. If I if I own an energy company and I want to stand up new capacity, the cheapest form of new energy capacity is wind and solar. Mm -hmm. Well, that doesn't bolt up very well to a data center, obviously, right? So there's something in between that needs to happen. And, and that thing that's in between, it could be a natural gas generator, it could be a battery, it could be a hydrogen fuel cell. There's all these different options. You know, what a data center person, when they look at that, they're like, okay, well, I need some sort of standby generation. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking different taxonomy, but we're talking about the same thing. Long duration energy storage. The energy industry would love this to firm renewables. We would love it because then we could just put batteries at data centers and not generate. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Um, it is not an insignificant issue. Right. The energy industry needs batteries that can store energy for, you know, days and weeks on end, in some case months. Uh, on the on the data center side, you know, we need something that'll store energy for a couple of days, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a week. Mm -hmm. But then there's these corner cases where the utility could be out for a few weeks and you don't want to sit there and watch your batteries die and then your data center is gone. You want some way to be able to, you know, if you've got diesel generators, hey, at least you can call up the, the diesel trucks and, and fill things up. The things that I'm most excited about are energy storage and clean generation. But then the other part is what's going on inside the data center. You know, the densities are getting extremely high. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to then tweak our data center design so that it can be built fast. It's sustainable, but it's also safe. Right. Right. And we need to be thinking about that right now. If I'm going to pack 4,000 amps inside of a rack, I need to be able to figure out how to do that safely. Right. Um, this isn't a, you know, th this is an issue that if we don't take seriously, it's going to come back to bite us in the future. 